Eminem to walk you out tonight? I don't know. It was just, I throw a rock in the haystack, and he replied, and, you know, I told him to pull up, and he was like, I'm here, and you're one of my favorite fighters. And, you know, that, that showed, you know, a lot of support for me, and that showed work, what level I'm at in the boxing world. You know, on the websites. So, yeah, I mean, I'm just glad. You know, it hasn't, it hasn't sunk in yet, but it will be pretty soon. We just, to me, I just look at it like this is another day. You know, and it, you, you also got to give props out to the whole team. You got Saul Diego's right here. You got Red Spike. Come on, up here, Red. You got Bernie Bar 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 uh, he even got Steve so called you know what I'm saying? He helps out a lot. You know, he uh, sometimes he see what we don't see. Uh, got Chad, Chad, raise your hand. Chad, the strength and condition coach. Where Ashley at? They go Ashley right there. She's another strength and condition coach. We got, we got chefs, we got dietitians, we got everything. It's a TF. Ain't it all about me getting my flowers? If you're gonna get my flowers, you're gonna get the whole team of flowers. When I've interviewed you before, you spoke about the moment in your career that you thought was the best, and that was against Ricky Burns. Does the net eclipse that one? No, not at all. Like I would say once before, <coughs> I don't think there ever going to be a moment to actually make me feel the way I felt when I was in Scotland that day. Because that was my whole dream, you know. Uh, I was filled with so much excitement to go all, all the way over to Scotland. Me, the little bit of family that I had, my team, and to come back a world champion, something that I dreamed of all my life as a kid. My dreams came true that one night. This is definitely up there because this is a fight that has been talked about for many years. This is a fight that when I walk in the store, my kids watching YouTube, everybody asks me, when you fighting Spence? When you fighting Spence? Dad, this dude said you scared of Spence. So, me always having to hear this guy name, it's like a fresh, a fresh, a fresh air that I, that I get to breathe because we finally done it. And now it's done it over. Terrence, uh, straight back here, all the way in the back. Dan Rayfield from Big Fight Weekend. Congratulations, incredible performance from you tonight. My question for you is, you won so easily, and he says he wants the rematch. How do you go about getting yourself up once again to take on a guy you just completely destroyed? Well, one thing about me, I don't take no fighter lightly. So I'm always up for each and every one of the fighters that I'm facing. Y'all know that from the past of my performances and how I come in the ring 110% prepared every time I step foot in the ring. And just one other question for you. Once you get past Errol, you know, once that chapter is closed and you have the rematch, have you even allowed yourself a moment to think at any time, like what else is out there for you? Is it a championship at 54, a specific fighter, perhaps middleweight someday? What, what other sort of goals do you have besides what you've, you've done so much already? I don't know. I don't know. In two months, I'll be 36 years old. I've been boxing since I was seven years old. I've been doing sports all my life since I was seven. You know, uh, I don't know. I got to sit down with my team and talk about the future. All right, so now we have a very special presentation to award Terrence Bud Crawford, the undisputed welterweight champion of the world for the first time in the four belt era. We have the legendary Ring Magazine Championship to be presented to Terrence Bud Crawford of Omaha, Nebraska. Terrence, um, you know, when you see that, the lineage, and now it belongs to you. I love it. I love it. To be honest, I wish they would have kept the original. <laughs> but 
It is what it is. Hold it up. 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 And it's stamped. Hold it up. Right here. Yeah. So for all you guys that, that doubted me, for all you guys that said I was too small, I was actually too strong. <laughs> <laughs> and now everybody, you know what I mean, they get to witness greatness, like I said before, and it's the Terrence Crawford era. Ladies and gentlemen, congratulations to Terrence Bud Crawford, Brian Bomack McIntyre, the entire Crawford team. Congratulations.